And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to be ranking all of the golden tickets that I feel fit for this free golden ticket choice. Now, if you guys know what I'm talking about, we are getting a free golden ticket. Now, the fan appreciation did drop today. The solos will range from now until March 29th. Once they do complete and all the golden tickets are in the game, you will be able to go and collect or slash redeem your free 9 over golden ticket. I remember it is a Nat player of your choice. So don't think you're stuck. Like, obviously, like, you don't mean to be, you don't want AP, you don't want Sanu. That's fine because you can take Lamar, Vic, or Bo, or Hulu, anyone you want. You have no issue there. So I recommend you get on these today. Get the ones that are there now done, just in case they happen to go away or something. You never, never want to play with this kind of stuff. Get those done. Be hype. And maybe open up some fan appreciation packs. So I'm going to be ranking them for you guys. I know a lot of you guys, just like me, before I did YouTube, were always wondering, like, what should I do? You need advice from someone you didn't know who to directly ask. Well, I'm going to make a list for you detailing exactly who I think should be taken and in this exact order. Obviously, things do apply because they are nats. Like, maybe you don't need a quarterback. Maybe you don't need a running back. And that's fine because think about it this way. Let's say I put a, a quarterback and a running back. And you don't need a wide receiver. Then you skip down my list of the first wide receiver. And there you go. There's your answer. And if you're a value guy like me, you just take the best guy on the board anyways. So trust me, there are plenty of ways to go here. But let's head on over to it and start with the bottom of my list, obviously. Now, guys, there are some players that I left off. A lot of the players left off this. I don't think all of them are worth it. I'm giving you pretty much my top overall picks. So guys like Kervon LeBlanc, like just price-wise, I don't think these guys are worth it. I wouldn't take a guy 1.1 million coins. Now, remember, there are scenarios like you're no money spent. You'll never be able to afford any of them. That's fine, but I would always take a guy at a better value because that's just the way my brain thinks and the way I'd personally pick players up. As you guys see here, like certain players just go for a lot more. And for that specific reason, it's just hard for me to go anywhere else than some of these players because like, why would I take a guy that's not worth that when other guys are worth a lot more? So I have my list compiled for you guys right here. I got about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now... If you guys don't hear someone on this list that you guys want to hear, I'm sorry, but I try to do my best to get the top overall 10. Now, guys, before we get into the video, real quick, 50k giveaway per day still goes on. We announced the winner in today's morning video. Go back today to check it out if you did win. Uh, all you got to do is comment down below 50k, like this video, and be subscribed to the channel. If this video gets over 250k likes, I will be giving away 50k the following morning. Guys, not a lot of, not a lot of people enter in typically maybe like 50 to 100, so you have a really good chance of winning this. Enter twice, you have a double chance of winning it. Good luck, and make sure to be subscribed and like the video and everything else. Turn on that notification bell. But let's get into it. So coming in at number ten is a guy that I really do like, but I can't see where I justify him over some other quarterbacks. So this is purely a preference pick. Nine and overall, Josh Allen, quarterback, ninety-one speed, ninety-nine throw power, ninety-eight throw short, ninety-nine throw mid, ninety-nine, ninety-six throw deep, ninety-three throw under pressure, ninety-nine throw on the run, and ninety-eight play action. Now personally, I believe the other quarterbacks are better and they're more mobile. So in my personal opinion. Could you go Josh Allen? If you're a Bills fan, yup. If you're a Bills team team, yeah. If you're just a fan of Josh Allen, it's fine. Personally, I wouldn't take him, but that is why we have a list of multiple quarterbacks because you're gonna be able to, like, if you don't want the first two, come to this one. It's gonna be like a tier system. Now, Josh Allen, everything maxed out. Everything passing to be maxed out besides throwing pressure, which is kind of important. And the speed's gonna end against like a 94. Fast enough, but in my opinion, I don't. I think what he can do, others can do, and what he can't do, others can do even better. So in my opinion, I don't really think this is the move for me, but for many people, it just may be. Coming in at number nine is a guy that I typically never use in Madden ever, but I could see where this one could be super OP. Free safety, Calvin Johnson. Gonna get 99 speed with sprinter. Gonna get like 98 excel. Gonna get like 97 tackle, 99 play rec. Gonna end up with 95 pursuit. Man coverage probably is gonna max only like an 88, 89. Zone will be a 99. And hit power will be a 96 unless you put a certain ability on him or a certain chemistry, I should say. But he's going to be a lockdown corner or lockdown safety, sorry, with max speed with good hit power with six foot five frame. This car could get super glitchy as well as the fact that he has an 87 catching, which does mean he's going to get some pretty ridiculous catching animations. Now, my personal, personal opinion, I wouldn't take him because I like, I like generic free safeties, hard hitters and stuff. Some out of position guys I've never been a fan of, but guys, if you don't need a quarterback or a running back or any of the other positions I'm going to name. This guy falls right into the tier, lockdown free safety, perfect for your team. Next on the list going on down is going to be a guy that is honestly one of the cheaper ones, which is why I hesitated putting him here, but I really do like him, Brian Burns. Now, Brian Burns, 99 overall, left outside linebacker. Exactly what you want in a linebacker. Crazy speed, crazy finesse, crazy block shot. So he's going to be an elite run stopper. 
he's gonna be an elite athlete in general like once he gets past on first off i feel like something about speed gives you quicker releases like you just like you get off that edge so much easier a lot of defenses you might even just get a free release because you're just too fast for the tackle to even adjust to you and he's gonna end up with like a 97 to 98 speed guys that's gonna be ridiculous and quite honestly with that finesse move and that speed and that block shed He's gonna be very, he's gonna set edges. Like, he's gonna be hard to get around. He's gonna be able to chase down. And once he gets in that animation of uh, shedding past the tackle, he's gonna be a very easy sack for him. Even with the skate artist, he might actually have a pretty decent chance of catching you. Cause he's gonna end up with like close to max speed. This card's pretty ridiculous. I think it's awesome. That's why he's gotta be up here, despite his price. Awesome. Coming in at number, I believe we are at seven, is going to be Strong Safety Taylor Maze. Now, this card's just absolutely crazy. Compare him to a regular Strong Safety. Oh, I almost just bit on him. I wouldn't have had enough anyways. Let's say like Pat Tillman or even Troy Palomalu. He has 98 speed, 98 excel, 96 tackle, 95 play rec, 99 pursuit, 88 man, 95 zone coverage, and 99 hit power. Now guys, that speed is a 99, chemmed up, maxed up. Excel's gonna be 99, tackle's gonna be like a 97, 98. Play recognition will be like a 98. Pursuit's gonna be 99 already. Man's gonna be over a 90. Zone's gonna be a 99. And hit power is going to be 99 already. So compared to like Troy Palomalu, who's absolutely amazing for me. Gonna hit way harder, force more fumbles. Gonna be way better in coverage, just off that man alone, which means you can blitz more with him. Pursuit's gonna be 99, which they're gonna be close anyways there. Play rec's gonna be about the same. Tackle's gonna be way more consistent, and the athleticism is just a big increase. Despite Troy Palomalu getting close to the chems and abilities, Maze is max. And he has a much bigger frame. He's like five inches bigger, or like four inches bigger, depending on how you do that math. But point is, Taylor Maze is looking like the complete package. And it top it all off, he has 78 catching, which is really, really good. Not as good as Palomalu, but it's up there. Next on the list, at coming in at number six, will actually be Troy Palomalu, middle linebacker. Guys, sorry, my video, I did call him Ryan Chazier yesterday, didn't accidentally did that one. But this Troy Palomalu looks absolutely insane, guys. Now, the point of these golden tickets, especially getting towards my top five, they're supposed to be unbelievable, like the best of what they do. He is the greatest user linebacker in Madden. He will end up with a 98 speed as a user linebacker. That's ridiculous. 99 excels as a linebacker. 99 play recognition, 97 hit power, and 99 zone coverage. If you, if you, if you like do all a press off or you you run at the running back and you click off i should say the block you're gonna be able to block shit off people gonna be able to just hit power enforcer gonna have crazy zone if you let him just sit in the zone if you want to do him as a user he's incredible if you want to leave him in the zone he's incredible so strip all my all around is just the perfect card compared to my ryan shazier 96 overall which obviously is a little bit worse just absolutely destroys him everywhere destroys him everywhere typically when you want to have that kind of speed you have to sacrifice hit power or zone and he sacrifices none of the above now coming at number five is Julio Jones. Now guys, Julio Jones is the greatest wide receiver in Madden. Let's compare him to like my Calvin Johnson. So he's got 97 speed, 99 jumping, 96 catching, 98 catch in traffic, 98 spec catch, 99 short route running, 99 medium route running, and 96 deep route running. Now you see in the beginning, Calvin kind of held ground, but then when he gets a route running, that's where he gets him. Now here's the thing, Julio is going to be an Antonio Brown mixed in the body of a calvin johnson with the speed of like a tyree kill that is the beauty of this julio card he pretty much just mixes everything in one see that is the difference between a guy who can like calvin can catch everything but his route running isn't as clean so it, it, it hinders him a little bit but coolio has maxed out route running in any scheme you're gonna probably have have maxed out spec maxed out catching traffic close to maxed out catching and gonna have maxed out speed and jumping gonna pretty much be a 99 card across the board with good juke with good with good spin with good stiff arm guys this card also gets crazy abilities. Highly recommend you pick up Julio, guys. If you're not looking for a quarterback or any of the guys I'm about to name, Julio's gonna be your guy. But again, follow the list down the tiers, and you will see what's gonna be remain what's gonna be the remainder after you choose what you and what you don't want. Next on the list, going on over to Mr. Bo Jackson. Now this card, he's the perennial overpowered card that Madden drops every year. Personally, I don't think I would take him because he's just so close to Saquon stat-wise that I can't see myself upgrading. I feel like I can get a lot more use out of someone else, but you can't deny this card a top three spot on the team. You just can't. You can't overall deny this card a spot on the team. In my personal opinion, this Bo Jackson overall is the best card in the game running back wise. But I don't think I'd personally take him, but he falls at number three here. Bo Jackson, 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, 98 carrying, 72 catching. 97 elusiveness, 99 trucking, and 99 break tackle. This card is an absolute beast. He's gonna get all 99s across the board. Nothing, but there's gonna be no no shortage of the things he can do, and he has great strength, which is really important. Because something about strength just makes you look, you just feel OP in the open field. Gonna have maxed out carrying, of course. Gonna have great jumping, 
maxed out trucking, almost maxed out elusiveness, maxed out spin and juke, maxed out stiff. Guys, this card's just an animal. He's, he's like a, he's an android pretty much. Card's insane. So on the list, guys, we have Michael Vick coming in at number two. Now, Michael Vick is pretty awesome, in my opinion. That's why he's number two. Guys, he's nothing this quarterback can't do. And quite honestly, compared to number one, he's very close. You can go either or, either way you choose to go. But Michael Vick, six feet tall, 96 speed, 99 throw power, 98 throw accuracy short, 95 throw accuracy mid, 95 throw accuracy deep, 93 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run, and 92 play action. This card overall can do everything. Max out you, gonna get high spin. Guys, this card's insane. No reason to not go this one if you don't want. The next guy I think is better, in my personal opinion, and he's who I'm going to go. But this Michael Vick is not far behind and is pretty damn near identical. Guys, with the right chems and the right abilities, he'll get to 99 throw mid, 99 throw short, and about 97 throw deep. Or vice versa, 99 throw deep, 97 throw mid, and then 99 throw short. It really depends if you want more throw mid or throw deep. But otherwise, Vick's going to be a god at running, going to be a god, going to have great abilities. Really up to you guys, but let's get to number one. Guys, right, number one on the list is Lamar Jackson. Now, in my opinion, he's the best one far and away. Now, first off, when you look at his passing stats, he's a better passer than Vic. Now, you might look at it quickly. He's a better mid-range passer, a better deep passer, and throw short's going to end up being the same with John Madden. Throw power is less. You put go deep, 99. Now, when you end up looking at their passing, what counts everything, they end up being really close, where Lamar's slightly better, and then you go down to the bottom row, where his throw under pressure is 99, and Michael Vicks is a 93, which means he has plus 7 throw under pressure, which is super important, especially for a scrambling quarterback, a guy under pressure, a guy who is escaping pressure, every and, and with a guy who's going to be going against, like, 99 overall pass rush at this point in the game. This Lamar... Then gets even better when the fact that he's six foot two, which means he's a better throw, like throw trajectory. He's not as small, probably hit less linemen. Then you go down to elusiveness, 99, ball carry vision, 99, and where he beats the uh, but Vic's gonna be on juke move, and I believe as well on break tackle slash break sack. So overall, I think Lamar is the overall better choice. Now this is why I didn't add more quarterbacks to the list. Now I did leave one spot empty on the list, which I'm gonna reserve for Brian Dawkins, who's going to be one of the developer um, GTs gonna probably be insane now the reason behind me picking lamar and not only adding lamar uh josh allen and vic were because i could add rg3 but why take rg3 when he's a mobile quarterback but there's two better mobile quarterbacks so i added two mobile who i really like not adding cam or rg3 i don't think they're gonna be as good and then there's josh allen who's gonna be like your strong arm more pocket style but still can run mahomes type quarterback if that's the way you want to go six foot five you know and all that but in my opinion, this is the way it's going to go. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. By the way, yeah, development G tiers are coming. If you watched today's morning video, you did know that. And it's going to be a Nunwa, Anthony Barr, Brian Dawkins, and I believe it was going to be, who was the final one? I have it written down right here for you guys. It was Keith Bullock. So out of those, I really don't like Brian Dawkins. But that's about it for the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to enter the giveaway. 50k down below in the comments and your console. Like the video and be subscribed to the channel. You will be entered. I announced this morning's winner. Go check it out if you won. And then I will be announcing tomorrow's winner tomorrow. So run up the like button, guys. That's about it. I'm out. Peace.